Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hi guys and welcome to round two of treasure box opening. Last round we went through this box and we found over $600 worth of silver coins plus probably at least another few hundred dollars or so worth of uh, actual currency and bills and collector money. So over a thousand bucks worth of stuff came out of there. So that was a really good score. I have been wanting to go through this one. Um, actually we're doing uh, three of these videos. The first one was a little box. The second one is a giant purple bin. Well, I guess the top's purple. And then the third one, in the grand finale video, we're gonna go through the two safes, uh, the fire safes that were in the house. So those will open up and go through after, but right now I'm excited to go through this bin. Um, I've been saving this, been waiting to do this on camera. I've been waiting for Melissa to come join me, which she will be. She's, you can see her in the reflection walking behind <laughs> us. There she is. Hello. Um, so without further ado, Let's dig into this bin and hopefully find a few more treasures. All right, you wanna do the honors? <laughs> Can you loosen it for me? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. It'd be nice if that was real. That is uh, photocopied money. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great sign, but these are real looking bills. And look. Ooh, that one's a little bent over. Look at all those. Canada doesn't even use $2 bills anymore. And that is every last $2 bill known to Canada right there. And some older ones. And then you get into the $1 bills from the 50s and 60s. Right up to the last type of bill that was issued, which was uh, this guy. Those are 1973 issued bills. But that's just in bills alone. Well, it's six dollars a currency, but uh, per page. So there's probably hundreds of dollars worth of just currency. But those are collectors' bills. They don't make them anymore here in Canada. People do pay premium for these things, so that's great. I can sell these by the sheet. Somebody will buy a sheet of one dollar bills, and uh, that should go well at auction. So I'm gonna put the good stuff. I'm gonna move my water. Put my good stuff over there. Um, what should we do next? Um, I automatically have pork. And here's a wedge. Wedgewood. I was going to say it looked like Wedgewood. Oh, little Wedgewood container. Nice shape. Plate for some reason. Um, more little plates. That's part of that set. Is it the same? Yeah. And there's another one. Oh, okay. What is it? Royal Standard Find Look, More that China. that is an interesting bottom on it. Oh, yeah. Kind of looks like a spider web or something. It's a neat pattern. Probably going for a flower. But I guess. It does come kind of like a spider web. Uh, what is that? Just lanyards. Lord Strathcona Horse Regiment. Huh, okay, so that's military lanyards. I wouldn't have known that. We'll put some military stuff aside. Oh, there's another regimental patch. Keep the military stuff together. Old pennies with the king on it. So those would be like, if that's got the king, oh, like, depends on which king. That could be 1950s, 40s, or 50s. You know we gotta look in the jewelry box. Yeah. Okay. You open it. I will watch. Got to push the button on the yeah. side. Oh, oh well, there's a nice pen. That's a good pen. Is that uh, stone or bone? I'm not sure. Might might be. I don't think it's ivory, but it could be. Oh, you know what this is? I think it's uh, horn. I think that's carved horn. Matches. Is that gold? <laughs> I saw the matches. You saw the gold. Well, yeah. <laughs> A little bag of gold. I'm gonna dump it out in the. Actually, maybe if we get little bits of gold, I'm gonna put them in this container, the wedgewood. 
Yeah, I'd say that looks like real gold chain. Right there. Did you look in here yet? No, what do you mean? Oh, like just now? No. Oh, it's just... I didn't want to spoil oh, it. Black beads. Crystals? It looks like stone maybe, I don't know what it is. Oh. Set it aside to look at. Zoom out a little bit so we can get a little closer in here. Tucket Special Turkish Cigarettes. With little tiny, I think those are ivory carved figures. That's kind of awesome. Little elephants, very intricately carved. Yeah, I think that's all ivory. Do you see any other? Oh, is that something? Uh, it feels like a potpourri satchel. I was <laughs> excited I found a ring. Keychain. Yeah. Oh, there's earrings. Look, there's little earrings in here, but I don't think they're going to be solid gold because they're tarnishing. Actually, that could just be the felt that's rubbed off on there. But those it's like are like a little costume jewelry. Rouge thing, but look at how dark that is. Wow, you'd maybe it's uh... <laughs> maybe it's for a, a different type of person. What's in here? They probably just put it on a little bit and then blend it out, I'm guessing. I'm gonna dump these in the, one of these little plates. Let's see what's in the bag. It looks like that coal miner's gum you'd get, their little gold nugget gum. Yeah. The little rocks. Oh, could be some semi-precious things in there that are just not cut or, looks like chunks of amber. Right there and right there, that looks like amber. Squirrel and a little uh, uh, button hook. More little stones. Okay, that looks like a little uh, English made pin. What does this say? Oh, it's for cleaning your glasses. Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> we can set that one aside, I think. Well, there was some gold in it. Piso, 1972 Republic of the Philippines. Philippines. It looks silvery. I don't think it's silver. There's all kinds of coins. These are uh, Lynx quarters. Those are that's all silver. These were I think 1967. I can't remember if these were the centennial year or not. Yeah, these are the centennial, the special ones, and these were still silver. They got the little links on them. So we can cap that. We'll put that in the uh, we'll put that in the silver file. Same with these uh, fish dimes. Yeah, and silver. I have a special pile going over here for special stuff. Kids are upstairs playing a game. Those are Mountie quarters. You can kind of hear kids in the background. Vintage Damascene Spanish galleon, twenty five bucks. This one is marked silver coins. Now the nickels that are in there wouldn't be silver, but. People will sometimes say online, I can't believe you're just tossing those things around in a bag. I didn't put them in this bag. <laughs> those are precious antique coins. Well, that might be, but they've been rolling around in this bag for who knows how long. Uh, the nickels are not going to be silver, but they are still collectible. The quarters, the dimes will be, especially the 50 cent pieces. So I'll separate that out later. That's a good... Good schwack of silver right there. Oh, uh, let's see. I think we gotta take some of this stuff off the yeah. top. Is the pen in there? Yeah, cross pen. It's a nice little pen. Those are just commemorative sort of sets from the 78 uh, Commonwealth Games. They're not silver or anything like that. They're just kind of like those Klondike tokens we found in the last one. They're just, they did actually make some of these that were, I think, silver. Those aren't them. At the top to a box. Yeah, this is actually nice. You got the bottom to the box. I'm looking at, this. <laughs> I'm looking at the pen box. Are you looking at that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just a little fancy container. Wade. Wade, England. Harvestware. <laughs> Montgomery Auction Services, it says on it. 
Well, you know you're buying a lot at an auction when they give you their special pens. Oh, hang on. That's moolah. But it's uh, foreign money, Indonesian money and stuff. Unfortunately, not worth a whole lot. But if there is euros in here or something else, let, let's see. Okay, Bank of Malaysia, Indonesia. I think this is mostly Indonesian currency. Bank of England, 10 pounds. Well, that's still worth 10 pounds, I would think. A Canadian $2 bill. 10,000 Indonesian dollars. I'm rich. I wonder if this Indonesian money actually still is worth anything. Or the Central Bank of Ecuador, 1,000 bucks. Where you could feel like you're super rich. But in fact, it's probably not worth the whole pile. What did you find in there? Well, I found... Uh, I'm not sure what I found, but there's a picture of the queen. Oh, yeah. That's like a family photo of the queen. So they were there when the queen was visiting. And there's that. Well, she did come through town a couple times. 1959, uh, Dance of the Leprechaun. What the heck is that? That's kind of an odd little plate to have tucked in with your picture of the queen. August 1978. Well, I guess they were in Edmonton around that time. Is there anything in the folder though? Or is it just to keep the plate safe? Probably just keeping the plate safe. That looks that's like an eyeglass. Yeah. That's for glasses. Yeah, there's nothing in there. But an original picture of the queen visiting Edmonton. That's pretty cool. They were up really up close. I wonder how they got so close. Uh, maybe there was the military regiment. If they were still part of it, maybe they were part of the, the secret police looking after her when she was here. I'm over there looking at the picture of the queen and Melissa's over here. Finding uncirculated sets and facts about Norway. Are they nor? Is it Norwegian oh, money or is it Canadian money? Canadian. But there's, yeah, maybe. Do you ever get one of those for like your birthday? This is what you get in Canada, like from your grandma on your birthday. She might get you the, the set of coins from the year of your birth. Um, these uncirculated sets are just whatever regular currency is, but in uncirculated condition. The proof sets, however, if you ever find a proof set in the box, um, even the proof nickel would be silver in most cases, like the quarter even nowadays in a proof set. So those are neat. Oh, there's some funky jewelry. It's like homemade jewelry. Well, the... Like polished stones, I mean. Polished stones, really cool. yeah, okay. Anything under the fabric? It says Edmonton, Canada, 1961. Some artist-made piece, let's see. Very 1960s looking piece that is. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, that is cool. Copper. Jewelry over there. Okay. That's a Canadian Millennium Quarter set. I know exactly. There's just a bunch of quarters in there. Um, that's another one. This would be the sort of thing you would get at Christmas time as well. It's just... I mean, it's coins, which is good. But I'm curious to know... Oh, there's... Uh, Stamps, collector stamp sets, a big, thick schwack of them. Some earrings, sterling silver, but they're... Well, I'll put it in with the jewelry. This is a heavy bin. Like, oh, hang on. Let's, you want to open that yeah. one up? Pennies. Yep. Pennies, 50s pennies. The jar is kind of awesome. Maybe some silver. I don't think they they didn't really look that carefully to see whether stuff was plated or maybe they just thought that silver plated stuff was cool too. I don't know. What's this? Oh, Canadian Legion, British Empire. So I'll put that with the military items. There's more in there. Like the oh, their armbands and caps. So somebody who served. That's their after they joined the Legion. Elastic bands, that might mean something good. Petrified wood. Oh, well, there you go. Let's make sure there's nothing underneath. 
Well, petrified wood is still kind of neat. There are a lot of coin sets in here. Oh, hang on. That looks like it's uh, possibly gold. What do you think? I don't think that is. Might be. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Okay, I'll set it aside. We'll check for it here. I'll put it with the other. We'll check for gold marks on that later. Yeah, I've been most definitely wrong before where I thought it was and then it was. That's how it was at Betty Jones. We weren't really sure and then we ended up being pleasantly surprised. It was gold colored and then it was stamped. I mean, they separated all this stuff for some reason. There might Maybe they were going to check it. Oh, there's a ring in there. It doesn't look like a real ring. I mean, it's a real ring, but it doesn't look... Doesn't have kind of the quality. There's a lot of bags of jewelry in here, this actually. That's silver. Stuff. That's like silver. And... Yeah, bracelet. So some silver. Maybe take it out. We'll have okay. a look at the bracelet. Not just in the baggie. Yeah, well, you can't see much in the bag. No. That looks similar to the one that we found before. That. Oh yeah, sort of the floral. And it's some. Those are actually really neat earrings. You doing some shopping? No. Always looks better but when it's coming if I was, up. that's the type of earring I wear. Okay, I don't even know. It looked like almost everything in here is bagged up. Cool. Still can't even see the bottom of the bin yet. All these little pins and stuff, I guess. Those are motorcycle pins, some jewelry. Oh, there's some, maybe yeah. a little Sherman piece in there. More coins. This definitely is a stash of uh, money and things that they thought were a little bit more special. I don't understand why it's bagged up like this. Canada's an industrial frontier. Shell. Coat of Arms of Canada. Oh, those are those uh, shell coins that you get when you go to the gas station in the 60s. I've seen the sets. I've never seen it all together like that. Little, are those brooches or pendants? Uh, pendants. Oh, here's something. That looks like a little... Go I don't know if that's... You know, I'm going to really have to go through and look for marks on this. That has a bit of tarnishing, so I'm not. I'm going to say that's probably not real. That's probably plated. A lot of guesswork happening in this video. Oh, look. Ooh. Bucket of jewelry. Silver plate. There's like a combination of good stuff and a combination of not so good stuff. Well, in this bag, somebody's taking a bunch. They look like, um, well, no, they're, they're like spreading knives, like cheese oh, knives yeah. or something. They've they've been all twisted over into weird little shapes and designs. I've seen people do that with silver rings where they turn them, or silver spoons and they turn them into rings. I've never seen somebody just randomly bend a whole bunch of these. I don't think it was meant to be like that. I don't know. Never seen anything quite like that. Oh, oh watches. That one has a clear face. Maybe a little... Oh, what, it's a button. What are the brands on the uh, watches? Can you see it? I can now. Gruen. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That one's hard to see, but... Uh, Rolex actually did make watches, cocktail watches like that. So you have to be really careful. That's a really nice set. You don't uh, disregard them. That looks like quite a bit of older jewelry. This is somebody else's, somebody older's little jewelry box. Look at the little stone figure. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's not, it's carved, but... It feels light, like amber. Some nice little earrings in there. Okay, let's just move your hand for a sec. We've got some nice costume earrings. That looks like a chauffeur's badge, but what does it say? King For King and Empire, service rendered. They would actually give that, if you were a, like a nurse in the Second World War, you wouldn't necessarily get a medal, but you'd get a little... You get a pin like that for service rendered. And this lady was a nurse. Uh, there we go. 
Cool. Oh my gosh, this this box goes on and yeah, on and on and on. Box. But there's just a mix of everything in here. This must have been heavy to carry. It was heavy to carry. Like some of this looks like it's just kind of nothing costume jewelry. And you never know because you gotta still go through it. Some of it looks like it might be silver. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. I'm reaching at the very bottom. There's all these what look like Tiffany's boxes, but it's Burks. Burks was high end. Mm, there's watches inside. And that's the Cyma, C Y M A. This would be the style of the, the, this is actually the size of a men's watch. This is a men's watch from probably back in the 1940s. The sub seconds on it like that. Men's watches were a lot smaller back in the old days than they are now. Now a watch like that would be more favored by a lady, but still really cool nonetheless. Oh, is that a piece of tree? Petrified wood, probably. Yeah, burl craft. Is burl wood polished? More earrings. Oh, yeah, these ones are stones. I gotta get an actual shot of it. Oh. Let's see. So, those are just polished stone? Not, Not that, that one, one, maybe. But these ones. Hmm, they liked their stones, didn't they? I wonder if they like the Beatles too. <laughs> eh. Maybe what we should do. Oh, there's another watch that's not terribly old though. Pennies. That's a tank style watch. A few watches, Cardinal, nothing really. Nothing really super duper duper great. Oh, military medals? Oh, is that what this is? Yeah, those are the, um, um, that's the mini set. And that would be First World War from the looks of things. They did that in the Boer War too, where you get like the miniature bar set with your big set. And you could, that one was just a lot lighter. You could wear it around easier. It represents the medals that you won during the war. And that person won quite a few actually. Do you want to open that up? Oh uh, yeah, I do. Let's be makeup brushes. Nope. Oh, watches. Oh. But, alas, Quartz 80s know. watches, not worth the whole pile. Lucky horseshoe ring. Actually, that is meant to be a lucky horseshoe ring, but the you're supposed to, for good luck, the horseshoe is supposed to be like that. Yeah, otherwise your luck dumps out. Yeah. Apparently. So it's an unlucky... It looks like a sterling That's a ring. silver, sterling silver. Except where they soldered it all the way around. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, we were just talking about this, and then there, there's one in a... Shouldn't surprise me. Well, this box looks a little bit more interesting. Looks like a gold ring. Kid's ring, maybe? I'm not sure what kind of stone that is in it. It's like mm -hmm. green and pink, but there's another little good luck charm mm -hmm. with a clover. A little jade Canadian, a little jade maple leaf. And a little spoon. I don't know if that's silver. There are jade mines in British Columbia, so that could be Canadian jade. There's, There's stuff underneath too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll put that in the special. Here, you can just hand oh, it right okay. to me. I've got the little gold bucket going over here. Bucket of gold. And another silver spoon, maybe. Yeah, looks like it. And it, that one actually was Hallmark, so I think that probably is going to be real silver. Well, they look like it, and it doesn't look like there's... A little bit of tarnishing, but... Let's see the back of this one. No, one. EPNS, electroplated nickel silver. Oh. What about this one, Keith? Can, can you read that? That might look like a plate. Mm, let's see if I can see what that is. What is that lid flow? Hmm. I'll check that one out. You're okay. holding the lid. No, loop. Oh, I thought you loop. I thought you said where the lid go. I'm like, it's in your hand. That wouldn't surprise me. I, I have done that. The bag of assorted stuff. I guess what we should start doing is maybe make a jewelry pile that we can actually go through later. Make a coin pile. Like, there's a lot of jewelry in here. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. 
watches and stuff. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of sorting as we dig through. Because at the very bottom of this, you'd actually think that at the bottom is where they put all the good stuff. Like if it were me, and if I thought, oh, I'm gonna keep my good stuff hidden at the bottom. It's like an old needlepoint. Yeah, that's cool. They didn't sign it or anything, but it's, it's neat though. Neat. Let's see what's in the, some costume jewelry and some antique beads. Some more, looks like bracelets. I've noticed that a lot of things have prices on them. I know that they also resold things, but I'm guessing that, you know, with all this buying and selling, they had slightly more special things. This one has a little case in it. You want to see what's inside? That's a really little case. Do you already know what it is? A little tiny harmonica? No, I don't know. Is it lipstick? I don't know what it is. People at home for sure. I guarantee somebody right now is like saying what it is. Oh, it's the world's smallest umbrella. <laughs> Well, that would be amazing, and I would keep it in my purse. <laughs> Wouldn't keep you very dry, though, because it really popped out. I don't want to break it. I don't want you to break it either. I'm not spring-loaded. Oh, it's a pen. <laughs> oh, that's neat. I was not expecting that. A lot of, okay, I'm going to get the coins taken out and separated. And we're going to keep on digging and going through this box. We've decided to move to the floor. Kind of spilt the bucket out a little bit so we could sort, um, you know, just regular costume jewelry versus um, actual gold and other jewelry. Found this is costume, but that's uh, uh, Woodstock and Snoop, uh, Snoopy. I couldn't even remember his name for a second. I must be getting tired. Little gold tone sort of charms, pendants. Neat little thing. Melissa's going through this, opening one box at a time, making sure there's nothing really great. We're hoping that we're finding something This is great. kind of interesting. Little pill box. Yeah. Probably pewter. Yeah, it is. It's pewter. Might have pills in it. Oh, no, it has earrings. Oh, so those are earrings. The little roses are the earrings. And and I guess it doubles pin. as a pill box. That's Neat. cool. So after going through the bin, we've sorted into sort of like generic or costume jewelry. Um, that's all stone jewelry. And then this, well, this is all the potentially better stuff. Well, that's money in there. Didn't find any silver bars or anything like that, but did find some interesting rings. Um, found some gold rings and pendants and silver rings. You know, all sorts of stuff. So in the uh, slightly better assortment, I would say that uh, retail probably found a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff, but it took a lot of uh, sifting to get down to the good stuff, the good, easy to sell stuff. The other things we'll all have to get inventoried and Sorted, same with the coin sets and all that. So yeah, probably a couple thousand bucks worth of stuff out of that bin. So not bad. Thank you for your help, Melissa. Yeah, you're welcome. And it is 10 p.m., so we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to put everything away. I'm always happy when I find nice pencils and things of that nature. This There's a whole bag of just military stuff that I found. Metals and uh, pins and dog tags. All sorts of neat stuff in there. So all in all, pretty good haul out of that bucket. Okay, admittedly going through that bin of jewelry ended up being a lot bigger job than Melissa and I expected. It actually took me um, about five hours in total, which I didn't film because that would have been crazy to go through everything, sift and sort it. Um, but I did go through and uh, every time I found something like a 10 karat ring, I'd mark it with the size so it can go through to auction. So I've got a handful, um, maybe about 10 to 20 10 karat gold rings, but the best one by far that came out of there, oh, I guess this was cool too, just gold, ooh, melted gold nuggets. That, that sound was me dropping the one on the floor. Anyway, I better find that before I <laughs> lose it completely. 
I am dropping gold nuggets. So there's another gold nugget there. Um, put them in my hand and show you. So just some raw melted gold. But the best piece I think that came out of there was this. It's uh, 14 karat gold. Actually, I'll turn the camera around so you can see it better. It's 14 karat gold with sapphires, uh, three kind of proud sapphires on the top. And it's got uh, five diamonds that I'll test out to be real diamonds. So a uh, ring like that will probably appraise at, I would say with the diamonds in it, probably close to a couple thousand bucks for appraisal on something like that. So that was a decent find out of that bin. And, uh, and then I ended up, of course, with bags and bags of, of gold rings and other sorts of stuff too that can be sold, plus the coins. There was a bag of silver coins, lots of coin sets, so lots of neat stuff. So tune in for the next video, which is gonna be me going through the uh, two fire safes that were in the house. I'm hoping that there'll be a little bit better stuff in there. I've been saving it for last. Um, it's been an awfully big job just going through all of this stuff, but I'm finding lots of treasures along the way and getting stuff ready for the auction, which again will be happening December 5th and uh, at kauctions.ca. Uh, for those of you that, um, uh, well, you can go and check it out. It's not live yet, but uh, when it is live, I'll let you know and we can see exactly how we do on this stuff. But for now, I'm going to get back to it. Uh, I'm going to get the stuff cleaned up, put away, taken to the auction house, and uh, start going through the other bins, I guess, with the other safes. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all soon. And um, stay tuned. Subscribe. Watch for that next episode where we go through the safes. We'll do an update on the auction sale, and we'll see how we do with this whole rigmarole of buying this property, uh, or buying the contents of the property. But thanks for watching, guys. See you all soon, and bye for now.